You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. A Craigslist encounter that turned into a hotel meetup and robbery. That's what prosecutors say led to the murder of a young lawyer at an upscale D.C. hotel. Stephen Cheetahs has the developing details from Superior Court for us tonight where the suspect just appeared on murder charges. Stephen, what's the latest? Leanne, 21 year old Jamira Goldman is a tall woman. She appears very strong. She has a deep voice, and she allegedly presented herself as a man on Craigslist in order to meet up with the victim in this case. Prosecutors say this is Jamira Goldman after she posed on Craigslist as a man and arranged a hookup with 30 year old attorney David Messerschmidt. Investigators say after a series of emails, they planned to meet at the Donovan Hotel. Police say Goldman planned to rob Messerschmidt, but at some point she snapped and stabbed him at least seven times. And after he collapsed, plunged a knife into his spine. When police found Messerschmidt, he was face down on the floor, his hands covered in zip ties like makeshift handcuffs. After checking the Craigslist communications and cell phone records, they searched Goldman's southeast apartment. Inside, they found zip ties like those binding Messerschmidt's hands. Just a reaction to this is a hideous, vicious crime that she committed. She says she committed just a reaction to that. Her mother sobbed in court, but outside, none of Goldman's family would comment on the grisly accusations. Police say Goldman confessed, but in court, she pleaded not guilty and says she killed Messerschmidt in self-defense because he tried to stop her while she was robbing him. She says when he grabbed her, it triggered something and reminded her of an assault when she was much younger, and she simply lost control. The judge determined Goldman a threat and ordered her held at least until her next court appearance. The victim in this case, David Messerschmidt, was married a week ago. His wife made an appeal for anyone with information to please come forward. Today, she issued a statement applauding the police work, but also asking that her privacy be respected. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. What a story.